The follow-up is simple. Ask a question, listen to the answer, then follow up. I'm your host, Noah Kozlov. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of The Follow-Up Podcast. I'm Eden, and this is my dad, Noah, and every week we sit on my bed and have a different conversation about something I want to talk about. And this week we're talking about the, new, the Delta variant and the new COVID restrictions. So we're here in New York City, and as we record this on, what day is today? Tuesday? Yes. <laughs> right, we record this on, on Tuesday, August 3rd. The mayor, Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York City, said that starting September 1st, there's now going to be the mask mandate for inside gyms and bars and restaurants and you've got to prove and 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 like for broadway and most likely i'm sure sporting events concerts where you have to prove vaccination and then in our in our apartment building we got the notices that right away to go inside the gym prove vaccination and you've got to have masks on again in the common areas the elevator hallways etc so my first thought and i want to know your thought my first thought was how does this impact you and school Yes. So, I, so what do you think? I'm wondering what's going to happen with school because right now of what what they're saying about the mass restrictions, they're still saying school is going to be in person and there's going to be no, um, what's you call it? Um, remote learning. Yeah, remote learning. So I'm still kind of like, hmm, because if you're going to have like mass restrictions, how are you going to, if and like saying indoors, school is indoors. Are you still going to be worrying about indoor, about schools in indoor, like in school? Well, yeah, well, of course. So I think in school. You're going to have to wear a mask. Right, which you did, which you did all of last year. And you were in school five days a week starting in, in April. The question will be, will teachers be required to be vaccinated? And we don't know when kids under 12 are going to be able to get the vaccine yeah. and will with the delta variant we don't know yet will will masks and social distancing in schools be enough to yeah. in order to stop any sort of spread also because kids in my school it only goes up to fifth grade so they are el- eligible mm-hmm. yeah okay. yeah everybody in my school so like talking about it that way Kids can still get it in my school because what if their parents aren't vaccinated? Right, right. You can only be, you can be, you can only be responsible for, for yourself. yourself, but you can do the right thing and get vaccinated <laughs> and you know, in order to help stop the spread. But right. you can still, you can still get it if you're you're not you're not vaccinated right. and kids and you're just not eligible yet. So how is it yeah. going to impact the people who are not eligible and that being the students? Do you? So I was on an airplane a few weeks ago going to Los Angeles. And that was the longest that I had a mask on for that long of a period of time. About How long five, was that? About five hours. Okay. And to me, that was Pretty brutal. Pretty long. Right. But you, you're you used to it because I you do it all day in school. So yeah, does school's it, about like five and a half hours. Mm, yeah, no, I think it's more about than that, six. right? Isn't it's about it? About six hours. Nine to ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Yeah, about five and a half. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I thought so it was longer than that. Anyway, it's yeah, about, it's about, five, about hours five hours and, and fifteen minutes. Yeah. So to be exact. So do you think that it impacted how you and come a little bit closer now because okay. <laughs> I can't move the camera all the time. Our, our cameraman is uh, <laughs> taking taking the day off. It seems like, but can did it impact? How you and I know we've talked about this before a little bit, but did it impact how you how you learned at all? Take take away the social side of things. Did it impact how you learned? I don't think it did. Be, well, it didn't because I think I was still learning, and I was like everything as a normal school year. I was still learning what I would be learning as if I was in school. Just the remote learning, I was doing things a little bit differently, but I was still learning what I would be learning with the teacher. So I think I was still like learning, but and I think I still had like a good experience. Yeah, a good experience. You're waiting for me to finish that sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Well, remote learning aside, because okay. you can only do so much with right. remote learning, and but it's most important for you to be in the classroom, and you 
looked forward to those days that you'd be in the classroom and that experience. You know, you're, I guess you're, the teacher can't get as close as often to you maybe, and, and is, there's probably less collaborative work between students, meaning working really closely together in a group. Is that true, do you think? We still did groups, and we still uh-huh. did partner time, but what we were doing for partner time was it would be the person next to you, or and some people would move, but usually, because usually a partner would come to your desk and like stand right next to you. Mm. But usually, but we moved our spots to so you would be next to your partner. So because what we were doing for partner reading was you would be sitting separated at your desks apart from your like per- from mm-hmm. your partner. So say I was sitting here and on my like there my table. There's like space, like let's say like this, as mm-hmm. if this is six feet, and then like this, this is a person, and this is a person, like we're this, and we're sharing books together. Oh, okay. Saying it like that. But what about like in in gym class? Do, gym do you class. feel like that? I mean, you can't run around so much with that mask on all the time, right? Yeah. So Still for warm ups and all the game, most of the games in warm warm ups were running. Yeah. Like, it was, like, running on the long lines, walking on the short lines, or, like, skipping on the long lines, walking on the short line. Like, okay. galloping or okay. sliding. So, okay, so you, you feel like you still, it was still, like, a standard gym class experience. You standard think? gym class. I think we would still be doing the same things as if COVID had never hit. Okay. Probably. Well, good. Good. It I, seemed like we were doing things that we would have been doing. I do hope that you have recess, though, this year. Because I think, yeah. so you had movement breaks and things like that, and, re- and a reminder for, if anyone hasn't been watching in the past or listening, you're going into second grade in yeah. public school in New York City. So I, I, and last year they took away recess because they wanted to shorten the day. So they took away recess and then you had these movement breaks in class, but, but recess I wasn't is out, important. Yeah, because I wasn't outside all day. Yeah. So it's like five and a half hours without being outside. Right, and that's tough. Which is a long time. Yeah, and even the movement break is one thing, but you need fresh air. And recess was half an hour. A movement break is three minutes, maybe four. Yeah. It's not that long. And also, you're not getting air. Well, it's like you're yeah. just sitting inside the classroom, exercising, like, for three minutes, which isn't long to exercise, and you are you aren't running. It's not like you're running like crazy. Yeah, I, I do wonder about... You're not going on slides. I do wonder about the not having the remote option and how that's going to affect families in in all sorts of different ways uh, yeah I'd, but for teachers you know being vaccinated being in the classroom that's where they can be the most effective and and students to get the education the practical education of being in school and the social education of being with other kids that's what's that's what's so significant mm-hmm. yeah but but you're not you're you'd be okay correct me if I'm wrong you'd be okay if you were in school every day and you had to wear a mask? Yeah, I would be okay. Okay. Do you think most of your friends would be okay with that? I think so. I think most of my friends I had have been doing, like, what I've been doing the whole time. Yeah. I think they would be okay with it because I think we've all adjusted to it. Mm-hmm. And I think we would all be okay with it because we all know what it's like because we've been doing it for, like, the past year and a half. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know how it would be if... Say you're in fifth grade and you got, you know, you had all those years in school without without a mask on. I, I don't know because but I think you know, so most of the time been with a mask on. Because like if you've done it before in the last grade, like I would if I was in fifth grade, I still would have done it in fourth grade. Yeah, right. right. So I th- I would have know what the feeling is and I would know how like what you would do. So yeah. It is what it is. But also yeah, but also it's different for the pre Kers in my school because right. they're just coming in and that's their first year. Just like their only experience in school is having a mask on. Right, and they're so, but then, and they're also so much younger. Yeah, and, and like social not distancing. Being, not, right, it's tough to tell yeah. a four-year-old out of social distance. Mm-hmm. So the right, so it does present a lot and of the other challenges. Also, from fifth grade to pre k like everybody is going through different things in all different grades. Like, have you been in the school for a long, for a while? Or is it just like your first year? Right. Right. Like you've never ever experienced that. It's tough. Like it. It's tough. Yeah, and, and I just, 
you know, I don't want this to become the normal yeah. school ex experience. Yeah. You know, being afraid to, you know, get too close to somebody or when you're having lunch, feel like, oh, I, I should eat like looking this way and I, I can't talk to this person because they're right there. And it's, it, it's, it's, it's a lot. And I feel like we're, we're going backwards a bit yeah. in, the, in, the, in the country, but I just hope that schools are the priority because as we all know that when kids are in schools, then parents can get their work done, yeah. whether they're in an office or at home, because it's, it's difficult kids, to do it when yeah. everyone's at home. But kids are not at school, and not everything is with the teacher online, and they have to do things with their parents, and their parents get th can't get things done with their work, and they're at work, like in an office, that's challenging. I, I'd say. I'd say it was. I'd it say. Is. Um, okay, well, I'll just keep my fingers crossed, you too. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Love you. Love you.